Turn it on. Chicken, chicken. Okay. And to line everything up. Okay, gripes. Okay. I've recently started watching network television again. It's actually cable, so. And I absolutely despise watching commercials. Okay. Granted, okay, these are how the advertisers, they end up making the budget. The shows make money off the advertisers. And then, you know, that's how the producers make money. And that's how they produce the show to make money. Okay, I get that. But I really hate that I'm watching an hour-long program. I get 18 minutes of program. And, uh, f what, 42 minutes of commercials? And then, better yet, I'm watching the TV, right? Just minding my own business. La, 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 la. Then here it comes, another pill commercial. It's bad enough. Y'all got me watching commercials. Okay. Which, I can turn off network television. Even though, there's a couple programs I like. But... I can't stand commercials. I get to the point where I don't even care if I watch TV anymore. I like movies. I don't mind a few commercials. Like five minutes commercial per hour, which I get a little more than that with, you know, streaming services, but it's still free. Okay, I'm not paying for it. I get to watch it. They got good movies. I'm happy. I can do that. But then I got commercial after commercial after commercial about pills. Okay. And half the time you watch the commercial, you don't even know what it's about. Okay, is it for heartburn? Is it for losing weight? What the hell is this for? There's a couple of those commercials. If you watch, pay attention. And then the best part is with these commercials, the best part. The side effects will do more damage than the original problem. Okay. Uh, one of the commercials is about IBS, I think. Irritated bowel syndrome. The side effects for that pill, seizures, tremors, blah, blah, I'm like, the side effects from taking the pill are worse than the condition. Why would you want to take the pill? Okay, there's pills for hair loss. There's pills for... I don't know. I made a list. It's just one program. One, two, three, four, five, six different medications. Not including like headache, you know, ibuprofen, Tylenol. These are actual pills from, you know, big name pharmaceuticals. One's for asthma. One's for Alzheimer's. One, I don't know what it was for. Sound like a diet pill, but said for cardiac conditions. I'm like, what kind of diet pills for cardiac conditions? Uh, I don't know what that one was for. It never made sense. Uh, then you have your standard for heartburn. Everybody's heard that commercial, I'm sure. And something about brain lesions and MS. Okay. Do brain lesions just naturally occur? And if you're having this problem with brain lesions, I know you're going to be sitting in front of the television and go, Oh, look. Look, babe. It's a pill for brain lesions. We should call our doctor and get those immediately. Okay, that's not exactly a common problem. If it is, I've never heard of it. I mean, granted, I don't know the whole wide world of everything. This is just one hour. One program. Let's say an hour and a half. Because after that, I, I lose interest in whatever the show is. Because I usually, I've seen most of them. I'm watching a movie. So I'm like, you know, this movie's got to be on something. Go watch it someplace else. Not anymore. It used to be that way. You could find, if whatever was on TV, you could find it on Netflix or whatever. Not anymore. Nah. They're uh, pretty particular about how they share their program. A lot of these channels are locking up. Hey, we're going to hold on to this, and we're not going to sell it to the streaming service. 
so that everybody can watch reuns whenever they want, however many times they want. We're going to have our own special plus channel so they can watch it on ours and subscribe to our channel for $4.99 a month or whatever. Which, okay, that's not a bad idea, but you know, by the time you actually subscribe to all the channels that you would like to watch, just catch the shows that you missed, or even previous seasons, you're going to spend $100, $200 a month. No. I don't mind spending $10, but if you don't have any decent programming for that $10, I'm going to think real hard and twice before I renew that one. Netflix, you need to do better. I think there's maybe 50 shows in the entire year last year on Netflix I actually wanted to watch. As movies, whatever. It's pretty bad. They used to have at least 100, 200, 300. Okay. Movie going, oh, I haven't seen that movie in a while. I watched an old movie. I liked it. They have so many movies from foreign places. Which some of these movies are really good. It's just I don't like subtitles and dubbed over voices. They're sitting there doing, but all you hear is, oh, look, someone's cooking. Yeah, I, it's got to sink. I'm, I lose interest. And I don't, I don't blame if they're watching movies, they want to watch their own movies in their own country. Makes sense. Because if I'm watching a movie and they're talking in, in English on film, but they have somebody talking over in their language, that would get annoying. Yeah, I like the original audio with the movie. Now, some foreign films are they're really good movies. It's just I don't understand them because I, I don't know the language. But you can follow along in the action, see what's going on, and at least watch the movie and enjoy it. Some of them are fantastic. Can't name any off the top of my head, but some foreign movies are good.